Moondog fighting back. He's not going out this way. A lot of power left in the moon, dog. Let's think he is the fresh man in the ring. Well, Mercury takes him to the mat. This is where the Mercury is dangerous. This is where he can really hurt a man. Mercury has got him in a spinning toe hold right now. Working on the shoulder. Two count. Oh, man. Razor once in. Again, once again. He's cut off the tag. Ron Fargo slides in. Boot to the head of the moon dog's flash. Grabs him in the air, turn rock. Fargo, man, he's got him hooked right there. That appears to be a form of a European team, Rob. Moon Dog going to the nether region. Oh. Right down, Rob. Big headbutt by the Moon Dog that sends Ron Fargo down to the canvas. Now, oh, gee. You mentioned earlier, Moon Dog's last ring veteran. Wrestled in Mobile many a year. In the ring right now. <laughs> Fargo rolls him up, showing right now why he's the veteran in the ring, wrestling hold for hold with the younger, quicker, and possibly stronger Ron Fargo. There you, there's the key, younger speed and agility to older veteran, but don't let that fool you, let it school you, because this is the IWC, anything can happen, oh man, snaps his head back. And the tag is being made right there. Comes Mercury McLeod. Ron Fargo trying to keep Moondog Splash grounded. Taking him away from that base of power when he's vertical. Man, he needs to get over to make the tag, James. He needs desperately to tag in a fresh man. Dog, look out! He tags Ricky Rocky. Right through the legs of Mercury McLeod. Ricky Rocky in the ring charge his Elbow. But he walks into a damn giant right there. Whip off the rope, drop down. Ring dog. He drops down again. Mercury. Just tosses. Just tosses. Ricky Rocket down. Man, goes for the pin. So close right there. Look at standing bridge. Look at the legs. And McLeod's going back for it, man. Sounds of Chris Jericho in the walls of Jericho right there. Crazy Joe adding his own part. As I was saying, Joe coming to drop the elbow. Fargo makes the cover. Once again, Booger the Bruiser comes in to save his partner from a definite three count, I think, over Ricky Rocket. Oh, man. Suplex right there by Ron Fargo. Makes the cover, but won't get it. Rocket is nails tough. Let's not forget him and his tag team partner months ago. They were on opposite sides of the fence. 46 minutes in a barbed wire match. I think that's when their respect for each other was earned. That's exactly right. Now Ricky Rocket in a world of trouble. He's on the wrong side of the ring, I'm telling you what. The tag is made to Mercury McLeod. Oh, man. Big boot. Right now. With Mercury McLeod, Ron Fargo. Look out, man. McLeod's got the ball back. Oh, that appears to be a bat with, with, Is that bottle caps? Man, bottle caps. Bottle caps all over a bat. Ricky Rocket with the bat. Starting to wear out Mercury McLeod. Gets a three count. Man, what action here in IWC. I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than this. Rocket in his weakened state, not able to hook the leg. Get a definite three count. May play later on in the match. I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. We can't tell you enough, fans. The fans that watch it on TV, you got to get out to your live event and support your local superstar, your local independent superstar. Get in on the ground floor action right here every Tuesday at the IWC Arena. That's right, the IWC. Oh, man, look at Crazy Joe. A wall house of fire. And Crazy Joe setting this man up. It looks like he's going for a big power bomb. And 7.5 on the Richter. 7.5, baby. And it could be over. Oh, man. Saved by his tag team partner, Ricky Rocket. Man, it's hard for the referee to call the action. There's so little rules, but you like it that way. Here the IWC, one step above any other independent. Man, non-stop action. Oh my God, is this it? Oh, man. Look at the buzzer. Going for that line shot. Misses the target. Once again.
again, we'd like to remind you folks, these are trained professionals in the ring. Please don't try this at home. You could end up with a broke arm, in the very least, or quite possibly a broke neck and in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. No doubt, man. Crazy Joe with them knife edge chops. We heard them throughout the building. The fans are static here in the IWC arena. Crazy Joe now rolls his man up. One, two, oh man, so close. I'm watching Agbar down here. He appears to be sweating bullets. His whole turban soaked. It's dripping with sweat because his, his mainstay, Hard Time Express, and Moondog Splash are getting the short end of the bargain right now against the team of Trailer Fabulous and Ron Fargo. Now Booger, both Booger and Ricky Rocket. Oh, man. oh my God, that's that variation that they've been talking about. They said they've been watching the old tapes, watching the Eliminators, and said they've come up with a few. I don't know what they call that yet, ladies and gentlemen. Sure I'll get it to you next week. There's a variation of what was called Total Elimination. Crazy Joe kicks out, though, man. Come on, what dedication, desire, and devotion. You've got to have the three D's, desire, dedication and determination to win matches here in the IWC. I believe in my heart you have to knock Crazy Joe out for him not to make, get up from a three count. I mean, what we see Crazy Joe laying in his own pool of blood, dragged out on stretchers, man. I've seen him lit on fire. I've seen thumbtacks all over his body. I've seen bottles broken over Mercury McLeod's head. I've seen training and barbed wire boards put upside Crazy Joe's head. And he's always come out victorious. No doubt, no doubt. The tag is made, and it comes Mercury McLeod. Fargo knocks Moondog off the ring. High spinning heel kick to Rocket. Booger outside the ring as Ron Fargo throws him over the top rope, which is allowed in the IWC. Rocket feeling the effects of man. that high heel kick. Who's the legal man? The referee doesn't even know. I guess it's Ricky Rocket. Moondog Splash working Ron Fargo over in their corner. Big elbow. Elbow in the ring from Mercury McLeod on the Rocket. Hell's broke loose on the outside as Booger the Bruiser and Ron Fargo and Moondog Splash and Crazy Joe Fargo on the ruckus on the outside. Mercury goes for the cover. Two count only on Ricky Rocket as he kicks out. Man, it's crazy. Crazy Joe with a bat, man. And he's taking care of things on the outside. Ronnie Fargo also on the outside. Now, it's Booger and Ricky Rocket on the inside with Mercury McLeod. Double team move here. They send him in Irish whip for the ride. Ah, oh, look out, man. Double two. What's gonna oh, happen, man? Oh my God. This is what I've been waiting for all night. I've seen this move. I've seen this move. Right where you are. Look out, jeez! Oh my God, that's called the guillotine! They just hit him with the guillotine! It's got to be over. It's got to be over. Things don't all look good takes, for the tag team all champion. All the take right now is for someone to come in. Ron Fargo, the veteran, in the ring to disturb the pinfall. My God, it's a mess in the ring. Fargo flips all the way over to his feet. Hard kick to the chest. Look at that. Picks it up. Superplex right there, Fargo style. And he gets it, man, for the victory tonight. Here at the IWC, Fargo Penny. Former tag team champion, one half of the Hard Time Express, Ricky Rocket. Your winner, Fargo. Fargo and McLeod. Thanks for joining us, wrestling fans. We'll see you next week. For James Roberts, I'm Steve Savage. We'll see you at the matches.